you want to come up? She's <laughs> like, no, I'm good. <laughs> That's okay. We can all be children today. You We're all children of God. Happy Sunday, everyone. Hopefully everyone had a good week. Good thing. Yeah, come on up. You are singing so beautifully back there. I love it. <laughs> All right, so this Sunday, um, I'm going to test Adam because I've not mentioned this to him yet. So we'll see how much he remembers from his track days. So, has anybody run a race before? At least in gym class we did. I've not run a legit race in many of years. But I do remember in basketball and gym class. So what are the, some, some of the things that Libby taught you and that you went through? Um, some of the things that would slow you down in a race. Yeah. Uh, He's so afraid of getting it wrong now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, the race, I don't know. Win? Win? Okay. Anybody else? You guys can just shout them out. What are some things that slow you down? Looking back. Looking back. So, somebody paid attention to track lessons. <laughs> Libby, anything else? Technique, yeah, yeah. What you train for, what you prepare for, and then when you actually use it. Um, looking back, that was one of the biggest things that my basketball coach would always say, especially in middle school, because you know we always wanted to compete against each other, but we would get right towards the finish line of running drills, and then we'd always look back at someone else, and I remember my coach would always yell, don't look back! And from then on, I tried not to, and that's when we would normally win with our races. But looking at, I'm gonna turn this way, Okay. You want to race that way? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but look at yeah, as Christians, that's a big thing that, that a lot of times we do, especially as we move into this new life <laughs> with Jesus, is looking back at what happened in the past. Wrong time. <laughs> She's coming. <laughs> you know what? She looked forward and she found where she was going. <laughs> She didn't look back, she knew exactly where she was going. So especially, I know today is communion day, hopefully everybody grabbed their cups coming in, but especially when, when communion comes, it is a time to reflect. But a lot of times as we're in pursuit of Jesus, in pursuit of our life as a Christian, sometimes we tend, we tend to dwell on our, our self before Jesus and who we were, and, and not knowing do we, do we deserve the love, do we deserve moving forward. Um, and actually, Paul talked about this, the idea of looking back and how that, how that slows us down. Um, so in, in Paul, uh, he knows that he's not, he's not won the race, but he understands that the prize is Jesus. And so he states in verse 13, But here's one thing I do. I forget what is behind me. I push hard, I push hard towards what is ahead of me. I push myself forward toward the goal to win the prize. God has appointed me to win it. The heavenly prize is Christ Jesus himself. In other words, he doesn't look back. So even though trials, tribulations, um, he continues to press forward for what's ahead of him and the goal that is Jesus and the new life that we have with that. And while that can be confusing and we need to know who we are and what we come from, um, we can't dwell on that and let us slow us down for where we're moving ahead of time. Especially in communion, I always look at communion as a time to reflect on the past, whether it be the past week or the past just lifetime of experiences, um, to one, ask for forgiveness and just give great thanks, but also to understand um, that we are washed in the blood as we take the juice and eat the bread and what that means for all the things going forward. So, like Libby teaches us, <laughs> we won't look back, we'll look ahead and we'll win the prize. Sound good? All right. Have a great week, everyone. Thank you. Good job. Thank you.